and the damage wasn't to one person, it wasn't to Valerie Wilson, it was done to all of us. And as you sit back, you want to learn why was this information going out? Why were people taking this information about Valerie Wilson and giving it to reporters? Why did Mr. Libby say what he did? Why did he tell Judith Miller three times? Why did he tell the press secretary on Monday? Why did he tell Mr. Cooper? And was this something where he intended to cause whatever damage was caused? Or did he intend to do something else? And where are the shades of gray? And what we have when someone charges obstruction of justice is the umpire gets sand thrown in his eyes. He's trying to figure out what happened, and somebody blocked their view. As you sit here now, if you're asking me what his motives were, I can't tell you. We haven't charged it. So what you were saying is the harm in an obstruction investigation is it prevents us from making the very fine judgments we want to make. But I also want to take away from the notion that somehow we should take an obstruction charge less seriously than a leak charge. This is a very serious matter, and compromising national security information is a very serious matter. But the need to get to the bottom of what happened and whether national security was compromised by inadvertence, by recklessness, by maliciousness is extremely important. And we need to know the truth. And anyone who would go into a grand jury and lie, obstruct, and impede the investigation has committed a serious crime. You know, Fitzgerald found out relatively early in the process uh, that there probably was not an underlying crime. Uh, you know, that what they were, uh, that the revealing of this name was not uh, a covert agent, uh, and but pursued the investigation anyway. Why, why were they pursuing the matter long after there was no underlying crime on the outing of a CIA agent? Let, let the Democrats go to the country and say Scooter Libby should go to jail for having one memory of a conversation he had with Tim Russert, which Tim Russert remembered otherwise. That is the only count on which he was convicted. It is a question of the memory of a conversation he had with Russert. What he did was inconsistent. He said something in, in, uh, in before with, with uh, FBI interviews and, uh, and before the grand jury that was slightly inconsistent with the memory of other people. That is not the kind of harsh well, environment where, where we're doing bad things by, by commuting a sentence well, on a fellow. But what you have is a guy who had a memory uh, issue uh, over questions that happened long earlier and people who, rec who, who remember those, those discussions differently. Why did Bush do it? Well, he did it. I, I mean, they did have an internal review within the White House, and he looked at the transcript with his staff, and they cut out the Department of Justice. And the decision was uh, he was guilty. And they said that's unavoidable, and they said that to themselves. For President Bush, it was a big problem. Uh, they, his base wanted a pardon. He only gave them half of that, and so they're even more unhappy. And I think there's a notion going around that uh, a lot of conservatives are mad at the president because because there was not a pardon. I haven't sensed that. I think most of them are satisfied. I regard this as an extremely clever Machiavellian move by the president. <laughs> it cheers me up. It cheers me up about the Bush White House, and I'm really heartened. What I thought was most interesting this week is a poll that came out that showed uh, when it came to commuting Scooter Libby, the independents were angrier about it than the Democrats, saying that they did not agree with the president's decision. So this could hurt the Republicans uh, to, in 2008. The suspicion was is that if, if Mr. Libby went to prison, he might further implicate uh, other people in the White House. Let me just say this, though. Why did the president act before the end of his term, before Libby serves a day in jail? That was why. Why does that he was, act without why. consultation with the Justice Department? Well, why does he act without consultation well, with Bill anybody? The reason the, looks like he uh, wants Libby yes. silent and good. not talking oh, about what's Mara, coming. You know what, was Under commutation, the person who's commuted has much greater Fifth Amendment rights, and so it means that if there were a pardon, uh, Libby could be called before Congress to testify on a whole bunch of things. Commutation uh, makes it much, much harder to do that, and I think that's an unspoken reason why the president did this. It would do no good to call uh, Scooter Libby. His, his silence has been bought and paid for, and he'll just take the fifth. I mean, this is th this was actually, in my view, a, a blatant way of guaranteeing that Scooter Libby would not talk about the things that were done, you know, some of the misleading information that was given out by Vice President Cheney and the President that led us into this war in Iraq, and, and they bought his silence. One thing, and I've spoken to Senator Leahy about this, that we're thinking of doing is calling Patrick Fitzgerald, the prosecutor uh, before us. You know, 
He's not allowed to talk about what happened before the grand jury, but he did interview the president and the vice president, uh, not before a grand jury, and he might have some very interesting things to say. He issued a rare statement after the commutation that was very harsh in condemning it, and with good reason. This would be Senator Leahy's call, but I talked to him about it yesterday, and he seemed uh, inclined to do it. It would be a very interesting. Senator uh, Schumer uh, of the Judiciary Committee wants you to call uh, Patrick Fitzgerald to testify before your committee on this whole issue. You want to do that? That's something I would discuss with uh, Senator Spector before I did, but I, I know the, how concerned uh, uh, Mr. Fitzgerald is, and we may very well find ourselves going down that, uh, down that path.